we're going to be discussing XRP and the perfect storm that is waiting for banks. Let's kick it off. What is going on guys? Kevin Cage here with another XRP update. Like and sub and let's kick it off. Shared by X underscore Anderson, a must follow in the crypto space. Sharing his research right here on a LinkedIn description and I want to highlight this. The perfect storm is waiting for banks in November 2022. Now what is this referencing? This is actually the ISO migration so stay with me and we're going to be talking about all of these real-time growth settlement systems being integrated onto the same messaging standard. We have to get messaging and then settlement. Settlement is where XRP plays a role. So target two a huge Euro system payment system. We have T2S, this is the target two of securities. BOE, Bank of England, this is a pay to ripple client. And RTGS stands for real-time growth settlement. And there, Bank of England's real-time growth settlement system is known as CHAPS, C-H-A-P-S. Now they're all doing this global rollout that is happening next November. Now, of course, I still believe we're in the bull run. I believe we have massive upside. I just wanted to share that this bull run could very well be a test as we raise liquidity levels, test the system before the floodgates open. So ISO drives efficient operations, value added services drive revenue. So we're going to discuss this, of course. And just so you understand what ISO 222 is. Now, think of the ISO tokens. We have XLM, XRP. Um, frankly, there's a lot in the ISO family, such as IOTA. You could say Algorand. We could even see uh, XDC. And even Quant, QNT, the token, has its own standard or framework. So ISO standard for electronic data interchange between FIs, it describes a metadata repository containing descriptions of messages and business processes. So remember, when Ripple announced that they joined the Nacha Alliance, the entire domestic backbone of the United States, ACH Automated Clearinghouse, nobody bats an eye. This is in 2014. Notice 11,000 financial institutions plugged into RippleNet right here. Now, wanted to show you this, the payment stack. We have Ripple, and this is the migration. RippleNet is going to be a global standard. Ripple is just a private company, but the RippleNet is going to be a global standard in the future. So, Bank of America, Ripple client, but we see all this messaging. You got settlement standards, governance, etc. This is the whole payment stack. First, application layer. Next up, banks. Then we have all the messaging and the ISO and really the value-rich data so that banks can process these transactions. Last but not least, the settlements layer. This is the foundation of the payment stack where XRP, the XRP ledger, plays a role. And this is where value will be settled. So just wanted to highlight this. Feel free to screenshot this. If you're curious, you can type in Ripple and then Nacha. You'll be able to find it right away on a Ripple Insights article. As I've said, Bank of England, their real-time growth settlement system is CHAPS real-time growth settlement systems all over the world. And as you can see here, Ripple is plugged in with Task Group, their partner. This is from 2015, by the way. So you can imagine how much further we are ahead today, despite the SEC lawsuit for very good reason. You can see the current system, two plus days to settle. We don't want T plus one, we don't want T plus two. We want instantaneous settlement within three to five seconds. Liquidity reserves are not required with RippleNet, with XRP usage of settlements. If they use Swift GPI or even XCurrent, that's just messaging. XRP solves the issue of that payment stack I just showed. You can see some of these payment systems as well. You have Mexico, you got Singapore, you got the UK, Sweden. 2013, finally global, the Ripple protocol was introduced after all of these payment systems starting in 2004. And I know we've discussed the history of the Japanese payment system during that ACI Worldwide video, another Ripple client that sends 14 trillion on a daily basis. Who is Task Network Gateway? Well, they're partnered with Ripple, the open protocol for global interbank transactions. Ripple, with the XRP ledger, was listed on the World Economic Forum's documents for interbank wholesale transfer. Let me tell you this again, that is big money. And this is a global neutral settlement system. This is the plan from the start. And so while everybody complains, oh, XRP hasn't done anything, it's at a dollar. Okay, sell it, good luck. I wish you luck, and this is not financial advice, but I continue to stack my XRP, and I'm well diversified in other assets. But I'm still, even at this point, dumping some profits into XRP, provided we are well below the all-time high price. So XRP is one of my savings accounts in the cryptocurrency space because I am long-term bullish on this asset. And that might be an understatement. I'm unbelievably bullish. So Task Network Gateway, the heart of the European, Target 2, and then the T2S, both real-time growth settlement systems from the very start, plugged into Ripple. So just wanted to share that. Of course, you can see Ripple named right here on all these documents alongside with CNET, which has obvious ties to XRP, QNC, probably more assets at this point. You got SwiftNet, you got Ebix, etc. Ripple named right here with one of the network drivers on this task group document. 
And you can see Task Network Gateway right here, a workflow engine plugging in the bank applications. All of this, whether it's payment service providers, PSPs, corporates, financial institutions. So this is really just a fraction of the iceberg, but I just wanted to share it for anybody brand new. I'm, I'm resharing this news because people don't fully understand what XRP is today. We're having newcomers come into this space that haven't even been in the crypto market for a year. So just want to share and hopefully I'm helping somebody. So I suppose this bull run is for raising the liquidity levels before this perfect storm. And that's so funny because the Ripple Riddler has said the perfect storm. So I don't know if it's just a play on words. Is everybody trolling us or is there more to this than meets the eye? And of course, notice my hashtags, PolySign, Standard Custody, the Ripple Liquidity Hub, which very well could be XPool. Remember those patents from years ago? There's just a lot that makes me wonder. And just like with trades, I look for confluence, right? A lot of overlap of certain price targets. Well, that's what I do with my fundamental analysis. So I also uh, shared some of the documents below, guys, with the links if you're curious. And also Sadie here, Kev, when will Twitter verify you? I hope sooner than later. I've been having trouble getting verified just like most pages because I don't want you guys to get scammed. Remember, I am not going to be sending you messages on any social media platform or WhatsApp or Telegram or anything. Those are impersonators. Those are fake Kevin Cage accounts. Remember, these are my only handles. So in this video you're watching, go to the YouTube video description. My social media is linked there. And those are my only accounts. I don't have any backup accounts. Anyone that says they're a Kevin Cage backup account or Kevin Cage official are scammers. Meanwhile, the fear and greed index is in extreme fear, just how I like it. Also, guys, XRP Arcade, this is Arcade XRP actually shares. XRPArcade.com, I know I've shared this website a lot. And this is a great resource to find the hundreds of companies and applications that are using today or even planning to use XRP in the future. Very few assets actually have utility. XRP is one of those assets that does, despite being a black sheep in crypto, and really for good reason. I like the underdog, and a lot of people say they're contrarian, but if you notice all the MSM hating XRP, why wouldn't you want to buy that? Based off of what I've seen, solving a multi-trillion dollar problem, the tokenomics are absolutely fine. You have 50% of the supply locked up via escrow. So a lot of fun out there. I'm not worried. There, just do your own research. Don't just watch this video. Go read on XRPL.org. Talk to the Ripple team. Learn from Matt Hamilton. Listen to the developers in the space. Don't just listen to me. Don't just listen to any YouTuber. I highly recommend looking at this website, though. It's a great resource. Just showing some of the XRP ecosystem right here, okay? You can see some of the investors, you can see wallets, you can see, you know, financial institutions, payment service providers, etc. Very cool. And it's a long list. And the way I see my investing, every asset I hold, I believe, will be here in the next three to five years. And I own assets that very well could be the future bedrock of the internet of everything. Whether it be decentralized APIs and oracles, whether it be other layer one, layer zero protocols, whether it be for payments, whether it be smart contract platforms. I make sure that I'm diversified. Very well could be the future bedrock of the internet of everything. And I'm laughing so hard. King Solomon's still holding. Come rock it. I'm going to retweet this. So funny. Also, a new and exciting project on the way is Double Dice. Check out the metaverse that they are building. They're going to be launching on Uniswap in just a few days. This is going to be decentralized gaming. So just like DeFi for decentralized finance, I believe it's pronounced DEGA, D-E-G-A, decentralized gaming. So Double Dice and the ticker is going to be D-O-D-I, launching on Uniswap in just a few days. And check this out. You can choose categories, whether it's political events, esports, crypto projects, entertainment, and you can be betting as well. You're going to be cutting out the middleman entirely. So compared to the existing framework of centralized gaming, there's so many fees. This is going to be one of the first truly decentralized protocols. So remember this, you can learn more at DoubleDice.com. Look at this, you can select an avatar, whether it's poker, roulette. It's very cool. This project is already this far in terms of development, and they already have a very legitimate patent that is patented well into 2030. Keep an eye on this one. The XRP Crypto Wolf, the XRP Ledger, has increased the volume of its daily active addresses from 11,000 daily to the recent peak of 142,000 daily, hitting new all-time highs. New XRP addresses, there's a new wallet reserve with each of these addresses. Can anybody say growing demand? And also a step closer to Flare Networks going live. Announcing a new partnership, go rival games to the Flare ecosystem. So they're going to be enhancing esports, fan interaction, and incentivizing engagements. So I'll keep an eye on this rival group. And also, something silly is people don't realize this lawsuit happening now is good. As we're talking about huge regulation on the way, which has always been a thing in the crypto space, 
And there's over, look at this, on the top left, 14,000 cryptocurrencies. Now yes, there are some assets that actually have regulatory clarity. A handful. XRP in the top 10, getting sued by the SEC. Before this market goes to 5 trillion, 10 trillion, 50 trillion dollars in market cap, and I'm talking about the global crypto market. Do you realize when there's in fact clarity, there's no more glass ceiling suppressing this price. When the glass ceiling is smashed, when there is clarity that XRP is not a security in the United States, it is game on. And that's when you're ready for those 1000% returns. Last but not least, wanted to share this, XRP speculation. So XRP Thanksgiving prices. Look at these prices, an asset that is here the last seven years and it has some of the biggest announcements in the crypto space is going to survive. 2014, we're talking penny, under a penny, and then exploded. And just like in 2017 and 2018, a 70,000% pump. Next year, of course, we crashed. 40 cents, 22 cents, 63 cents, and now this year, a dollar. This is just like looking at the trend for Bitcoin. But when there's clarity, this explosion is going to be orders of magnitude higher than these silly one-digit prices. So just wanted to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this. All links are in the video description. We're going to be doing a live stream for all patrons as well, going over current trade setups. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time.